So let's talk about pride. When we are prideful, everything that you do is constantly seeking manifestation. What you have on your mind seeks to manifest. So if I'm prideful over defeating someone in some competition or some game, for example, then, you know, the pride comes before the fall. What you're doing is you're manifesting that exact scenario to come back to you, where other people will be prideful over your defeat. And this is how you end up putting yourself down. Like, you, you can never be the best forever, because someone else will always see and strive and become better. But if you find peace and contentment, then that's what you're going to continue to manifest, more peace and more contentment. It falls into the law of love. When you give, you cannot help but to receive, because when I give, others are going to give to me. When I give love, others will give love to me. And love is the strongest thing we have. It's, it's a literal shield. Um, so make sure that you're manifesting the correct things by not sinning because you're going to manifest the wrong things and lead to your own destruction. Now, why would lust be a sin? Now, if you're lusting, if I'm saying I don't have something, but I'm seeking to gain something, then you're acknowledging that you're believing that everything is outside of you when in reality it all comes from within and we have to learn to create from within and that will reflect on the outside. It's all about our manifestation abilities. So once you understand the why, then the how will become much easier and you will be able to follow these steps much more um, knowledgeably. This is same for why greed is a sin. You know, if I'm greedy and I'm withholding everything, then other people are going to withhold from me. It's all about put out what you want to receive, and that's what you're going to find in life. If you put out love and peace and joy, you're going to find more love, peace, and joy, because we are creators, and people don't understand the power that they hold within them. And so they have anger, and they have sadness, and they have pain, and they're only going to create more of those things in their lives, when in reality they must seek within. They must find the perfection of living a life of joyfulness and intention and peace and happiness. And then they will just manifest that out and spread it out throughout the world. And we can slowly change the world one person at a time. 